You know, it's true when something exceeds your ability to understand why it's receiving so much hype, it sort of becomes magical. It's hard to see how something so thin, so light, and so flat could possibly be easy to type on or stay on your lap. There's no right or wrong way of holding it and there's very few ways to hold it comfortably. The iPhone was a revolution. It was truly an in incredible breakthrough product. And this is a really, really big version of it. Okay, let's stress test this sucker. So obviously uh, we do a lot of this stuff as tongue in cheek, but within about three or four drops on the floor, you can already see uh, the screen is a little damaged. There's like pixelation here. Kind of surprising because the uh, the iPhone was definitely a little more sturdy than than this. What if we just went ahead and took a nail and tried to scratch the front of it? And it's actually very uh, sturdy. This is pretty much a scratch-proof screen. As you can see, we did some prior testing here, and uh, I went ahead and monogrammed it. The back is very scratch-prone, as you can see. So like any keys, anything, you're going to want to actually use a uh, uh, some sort of protective case with this. It actually responds to the donut. Actually, it seems to... You know what? Wow, you can <laughs> you scroll can, with the donut. You could use the donut as a stylus. That's incredible. And and actually doesn't look too, uh, yeah. too bad there. Uh, here, you want to get this here? Sure. This is not that hot anymore. It was a lot hotter while we were waiting online. Wow. Well, look at that. It really, the screen really moves. You can actually uh, use coffee to navigate. Wow. Yeah. It should actually just go, go. go right to the Starbucks let's homepage. Let's just wash that right off there. Oh, cool. Get it. Oh, oh. How's that looking? Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's pretty smeary. So the water definitely had the worst effects on this thing. You're not going to want to put this underwater. Uh, about two minutes after it got wet, the screen sort of blanked out. You can see here there's sort of like blemishes uh, on the screen. I think this thing is nearly a goner in terms of operability. Touch screen is hosed, home button is hosed, power button is hosed, um, yeah. Now we're basically purely testing the, uh, the screen durability and the durability of the product and the way to do that is basically to drop it a bunch of times. Brace yourself. I think we had some damage on that. Yep. <laughs> I felt bad about uh, doing these stress tests before I went into the video, but honestly, it broke kind of easily, easily enough that I don't really feel bad anymore. If you get an iPad, you're definitely going to want a protective case for it. Uh, within about three drops on a carpet, it did damage the screen a little bit. Uh, you don't want to get this thing wet. It pretty much broke it instantly, getting it wet. And uh, of course, dropping it, you know, screen down on concrete is going to have this effect on it. Um, makes a little bit more sense. The iPhone was more resilient in our stress test, but uh, it makes sense that this wasn't because, you know, there's a lot more glass on the front of it. It's, a, it's heavier, so, you know, there's a little weight behind it. Um, but that's how the iPad breaks, and uh, that means it's time for baseball season.